handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Santa Anita Park here on Sunday. It's the 17th of March 2024. Going to look the seventh race in Santa Anita, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean around the world. The seventh race from Santa Anita, it is the Irish O'Brien Stakes. It's going for a purse $100,000. Race for California bred or California sired. Phillies mayors, three year olds, and or four year olds and upwards. Phil seven horses going to the hillside turf course at the distance of ground of 1300 meters or about six and one half furlongs down the hillside turf course 20 feet the rails are out my top selection i love the five horse rose maddox is a top selection five three one four in the superfecta for me Five three one four super top selection of five horse Rose Maddox. This five year old mare by Grays in here. Steve Miotti trains. Flavian Pratt gets to mount. The horse's most recent out came mid February the eighteenth to be exact at Santa Anita on the dirt. Six furlongs in the Spring Fever. He finished fourth by seven and a half lengths. His most recent dirt efforts haven't been up to scratch. He just never really got into it. Just stalked and just never got into it, we'll say. Refreshing back to the hillside turf course, this horse has had success in the past. I think this horse gets the trip to win. Two back down the hill in the Sunshine uh, Millions Philly Mayor Sprint here, 13th of January, going about 6.5. The horse went by nose that day and saw a good pace to close up into. He sat back early, flew home and circled the field late, and got the job done. I thought it was a very good effort for this horse there. And then the Senator Ken Maddy against Open Company at Santini on 3rd November, going about 6.5 down the hill. Finished 4th by 2 and 3 quarter lengths. If the, if the horse didn't have a wide trip really would have made the race interesting late but she just caught, was going a little bit too late but you know I, I thought that was from the wide poster there and then the california distance going six and a half here at, uh, down the hill on the 14th of october she won by two lengths from a tracking trip she flew home clear she likes this hillside turf course she's the perfect kind of horse for it she just doesn't want to go six furlongs down the oval course and she just doesn't want to go two turns miles she wants to go six and a half down the hill Doing it again today at 5 2, she could win. I think the three horse stay in scam for Mario Gutierrez and Doug O'Neill could win. One going down the hill in mid February, quite nice by one three quarter lengths against Open Company. Back to State Breads here today. Two back against State Breads in that Sunshine Villa Mayor Sprint. She finished third by head where she gamed it out to the wire. She just couldn't catch uh, Rose Maddox with the jump hunter, but she ran her heart out that day. And then at Del Mar going five on the turf course and optional 40 against Open. She won by four and a half lengths, and again, she won quite easily. Another horse since coming to the turf course to the hill, she's really become a good horse. She could definitely win here. And I think the one horse in Madaya for Joel Rosario and Craig DeLossi. Um, this horse has some speed in her. She won going down the hill in November quite nicely in a very tough allowance race. Came back to run actually at Low Sal on New Year's Eve in uh, a, a thousand yard allowance race where she plays that day, closing up from nowhere. And then we're in the Sunshine Philly Mayor Sprint where she just wasn't getting the trip. And then her two last race against Routing, going routing, were up to par, but. I think cutting back and trip is something she wants to do. Maybe she wants to go six and a half on the oval or six on the oval. But down the hill, I, I will give her a shot here today. She showed potential, and her win here in November wasn't bad at all. I choose her in the multis, but to recap my selection for the seven from Santini now, it's this Irish O'Brien. Gonna take the five horse Rose Maddox, give kudos to the three horse stay and scam and the one horse Madaya. Five three one four super, five three one in the multi race. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kit five. Good luck 